All right, guys, how's it going? EBA, we're out here talking today about some of the Bay Area lakes. Or we want to talk today about Rainbow Lake in the Bay Area. This is a part of the Quarry Lakes, Fremont, California area. This is uh, also a borderline um, Union City, Niles type, all those areas. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, quarries. There's a bunch of ponds. There's a bunch of... Uh, yeah, these little areas uh, that are just filled with fish. So I want to talk today a little bit about Rainbow Lake. Rainbow Lake is a small lake, but it's a deep lake. It's one of the deeper of all the quarries that there are in the Quarry Lakes region. So it's definitely hosting um, a, a variety of bigger fish. Uh, it's overlooked, but it's extremely productive. I would definitely get out there. Right now is a great time to go out there and uh, fish for largemouth and smallmouth bass in Rainbow Lake. It's also a great time to fish for carp. If you're into carp and you want to get some cheese, go ahead and throw some cheese out there. And uh, that's just one thing I'll say. And uh, maybe I'll make a carp video if you guys want the specifics. But I've got some, uh, I've got some knowledge to some big fish, big carp being caught um, all through the Quarry Lakes region. There's a lot of carp there. Um, the bass fishing should be picking up. We should be getting, uh, you know, roughly stagers. Not really anybody is going to be spawning, but fish are going to be pulling up on staging areas. Um, so basically, find your transitions. Find your deep water where deep water goes to shallow water. Find your points that uh, intersect with um, some type of structure. Um, some type of area of depth or uh, rock piles, some, something that makes it stand out. Um, and there's generally going to be fish in those areas, but right now some of the baits you guys want to be throwing if you're out there bass fishing at Quarry Lakes, Rainbow Lake, is uh, small lizards, uh, brush hogs, uh, medium-sized lizards, brush hogs, and uh, you can pretty much rig them any way you want, but Texas rigging them is always preferred. Um, there's a lot of structure, and uh, I'm definitely more partial to the west and the southwest end of the lake versus the uh, northeast. I'm not, you know, northeast is good for certain things. I've done well catfishing there in the northeast area and stuff like that, but I haven't done well uh, bass fishing consistently on that area, but, um, definitely go out there and throw some type of grub, something with a tail that's going to move if you don't have some of these other things and you're going to want to slow roll them. You're going to want to just cast them out and wind them slow or at a faster pace and see what the fish are doing. Are they reacting to it? Are they not, um, cover water and, uh, Every once in a while, go ahead and do the old, you know, burn pause. So that's the stop and go. Uh, you can play it a lot of different ways and you can stop and go at a slower rate, uh, at a faster rate. So each one of these different presentations will create different reactions on different days. These fish are pulling up and they're kind of like they're moving up, they're pulling up and they're pulling off. And if you're there at the right time right now, you can really buck some big fish. You can get some really big fish out of there. Um, some really nice males, uh, some really light, nice females. Um, and generally the average fish this time of year is gonna be bigger. Um, you know, there's always the small worm game. You can always play worms at this lake and, and throw the worms for bass or spinner baits or chatter baits or buzz baits or uh, I've done well on frogs, you know, um, going into the uh, summer and late spring and fall. So bass fishing right now should be picking up. Carp fishing is good. Rainbow trout fishing, believe it or not, is not that bad there. You can catch a trout here and there uh, more than a few days if you go and put the work in. Rainbow Lake's underrated in a lot of ways, and because of this, it doesn't get the attention. So... That's a good thing for Rainbow Lake, and uh, you guys go out there and, you know, I mean, the average fish uh, that I've, you know, caught for catfish out of there is huge, you know, um, 10, 15 pound average, and, you know, a lot of these uh, carp out of there, you know, 20 to 30 pounds, and uh, 
as far as the bass, you know, they're a bit smaller, but they're, uh, they're out there in numbers. So if you guys are trying to get on some bass in the Bay Area, go down to Rainbow Lake. There's a couple areas you can see that used to be ramps on the west side of the lake and uh, focus around those ramps. Uh, one side will always be productive and one side will always be not so productive. Keep that in mind. So um, there's always going to be areas where, you know, you walk up on a particular piece of structure and one side of that structure is going to hold fish and one side won't. Uh, a lot of reasons for that, but um, being aware of that is inv very important. And this is going to apply literally almost anywhere you go, any area. There's going to be a sweet spot within the spot, if that makes sense. So get out there. Bass fishing is good right now. You guys should be getting on some bass. Um, on average, you know, uh, 5 to 15 fish a day is very possible at this lake. Um, you know, I would say that, you know, go medium, go big, go small, start somewhere, go hard, and then whatever you're successful, so this spot, this spot, this spot, you caught fish, okay. Next time you go, start with those spots. Those are the spots you're gonna focus on different techniques and different things like that because those are the spots that you've already caught fish, so those are areas that are going to attract fish again. And that's one of the things they're doing is they're just pulling up, they're pulling off after they're there for a while, and they're pulling up somewhere else, and then they're resting, and they're getting ready. They know it's spring, um, it's springtime coming up. Here we got we got spawn coming up. Um, the bass are moving in, and uh, like I said, don't forget the carp. Twenty to thirty pounds in this lake. I mean, twenty to thirty pounds, massive fish, and you know they're not that hard to catch. Generally, uh, the bite's better in the morning than in the evening, and generally, um, you know, uh, you know, the south end of the lake gets overlooked, but it's actually pretty good. Um, and uh, the north end of the lake, well, the whole the whole lake, Rainbow Lake, gets overlooked. But if you guys want to go out there uh, right now, the fishing should be good. And um, even if you want to go cat fishing. Go out there with some chicken liver and you'd be surprised. Right now is a good time to go to Rainbow Lake, Cory Lakes, California. Um, if you guys uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, just trying to give you guys some, uh, some tips on what's going on right there, right now, and what you can do to catch some fish right now. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.